Hello and welcome friends. Welcome to another episode where I review modern fountain pens. Today I have for you a fountain pen made in Ireland by Cross. And we are talking about this beautiful, beautiful metallic fountain pen. In fact, guys, this beautiful model, let me zoom on it for you to see better. It is a beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. I always admired the classical shape of the metallic ballpoint pens by Cross, their elegance and their beauty. Some of the collectors consider this to be a fountain pen used by women, but I find it to be quite, quite nice and uh, I'm not ashamed of using it myself. So, it depends on your fingers. This particular model is a Century 2. Precious metals, 10 karat gold filled fountain pen. And believe it or not, guys, this fountain pen, new, if you wanted to buy new, you can still find it, but it costs around $400. So, wow, what a, a price for this fountain pen. Of course, there are some uh, features that I will show you. And mainly, I fell in love with the nib of this fountain pen. It is incredible. The nib, I love, love, love it. I'm not so sure if you can see it in this lighting. We have engraved cross 18 carat 750 and Above the cross, we have an M in a circle, which means we have an M nib, a medium nib. Quite, quite well engraved and a beautiful, beautiful thing. So guys, nowadays when you find, find a, found, a new fountain pen and you want that fountain pen to be equipped with a gold nib well you have to pay a premium uh, the cheapest ones i believe are 200 uh, around 200 american dollars and uh, they are fitted with a 14 carat nib this one is fitted with an 18 carat nib so you can call it definitely a luxury fountain pen, but it's, it is from um, one line of fountain pens that I call them fashion fountain pens, fashion luxury fountain pens. And don't get me wrong guys, maybe they write wonderfully, but they have something uh, that uh, I'm not so sure um that's why i often compare the cross with the cartier don't get me wrong guys they both use premium materials but they're not piston fillers i'm not so sure they produce their own nibs so it's like uh, watches some of them have in-house movements completely built by them and some uh, others they prefer to have custom made pieces for them and the nib could be custom made of course for the moment i will leave the cartier aside but not before guys before i show you another beautiful beautiful nib another 18 karat gold nib okay let's leave the cartier aside guys so returning to this fountain pen 
I must tell you guys that in my research work, I search it on the fountain pen network and uh, I saw that there are some listings of them being sold for as much low as only 50 American dollars. And guys, this is worth all the money. I must tell you what I paid for it. Well, uh, I paid around 213 lays for it, including the shipment to my home address, which means I paid around 47 euros or 50 American dollars. And I'm quite pleased with the sum of money. Although this is an underrated fountain pen, in my opinion, I think I paid the right price for this fountain pen. Even uh, I would go to say that I paid a pretty low sum of money for a type of fountain pen like this. Guys, we have a metallic fountain pen. We have 10 carat gold rolled. Uh, again, this particular fountain pen has some flaws on it in the sense that it lost the gold, the roll gold was affected in time by the acidity of the sweat. So it was uh, intensely uh, used, but this is the way I like them. The more used, the better. They tend to have a unique patina that can be replicated only after years, years of use. And uh, I, you have to like this beautiful, beautiful piece. Let me show you now some engravings. So on the clip we have cross. This clip reminds me, by the way, it is fitted on the cap of the old fountain pens from the 1920s. It is a quite flexible clip, as you can see. At the top back of the cap, we have cross engraved and 10 carat rolled gold. Except the iron. <clears throat> Let me see. Uh, maybe you can help me, guys. So, except appointments, except appointments, Ireland. I'm not so sure what expect appointments stands for. Maybe you can uh, tell me in the comments. Except appointment. Maybe it's a thing related to the registered trademark. I'm not so sure. You can see this has the beautiful, beautiful lines. Quite, quite nice. It has here a point where you can personalize the fountain pen. And it's in pretty, pretty good shape. If I open it, we realize that we have a pressure fit cap. Inside of it, it is a quite large plastic material, which has a double roll. The first roll is securing it here. And the second roll, if we post this fountain pen, it helps with the scratches, so it doesn't scratch. One of a few fountain pens, a metallic fountain pen, that has this trait. A downside to the inner plastic is that in time, after years and years of use, that plastic will fade away and it will need to be replaced. But till then, it should last you for a quite a long period of time. If we concentrate on the grip section, we can see some striations here with almost the same pattern as the metal. They give a, they give a little grip to it, but it is a shiny material, so your hand will slip. Fortunate enough, you encounter this 
concave ending and in a way it p prevents you for from leaching the nib. I particularly don't like this design. I don't like this design on the Pelican M800 and I'm not uh, liking this design now. And if you really look closely, the same design is present also on the Cartier. Let me tell you what I don't like this design. No matter how well treated is this metallic part, in time it will fade away. And I think I have here some marks why it will fade away because most of us don't clean their fountain pens quite quite often and the ink in contact with this metallic part it is a mess in time it oxidates and it will ruin this metallic part so i don't like uh, that they should have continued with the same plastic material also here uh, the, the idea of a concave ending is wonderful it should uh, they should replace this metallic part with the simple simple resin or plastic material from there on the back guys we can see a simple feet i'm not so sure if it's a bonite or simple plastic but judging by the way it shines it is plastic if we unscrew the barrel we can see a ink converter this ink converter is specially made for cross it is a blue azul and it has three parts so we saw this like a telescopic design of the ink cartridges also on the italians from aurora if i'm not mistaken but guys i have here a universal converter and to my surprise it can fit this fountain pen and I'm quite excited because in this way I won't fill this with an ink syringe and the process of writing sample will be quite quite easy. Till then I will put it side by side near the Cartier fountain pen for you to have an idea of its dimensions. Here they are guys. They look like this side by side. You can see that the Trinity is a bigger fountain pen is slightly longer and it definitely is a little bit fat in comparison with the cross century 2 model i will uh, leave the dimensions of uh, the precious metal century 2 on the screen and after that i will do a writing sample with it so for me this is a royal fountain pen and in my book it deserves a royal blue ink and in this case we have the royal blue from from mont blanc let me place it like this so guys, before the actual writing sample, let me change the angle of the camera. Okay. Let me put it in this lighting. I will give it a little shake. I will 
open it like this. Now, I will put the cap right here. Okay. So guys, bear in mind, this is the first time that I'm using this ink converter with this fountain pen. I hope it is compatible. So look what I am doing before I... Oh, I have problems. I think one of the parts is missing. Hmm. This is not good. Not good at all. But thank God I I can pull it off. So I will submerge this in ink and now I, I will turn Hmm. I don't think that I've managed to to draw ink. This is the way that I want it to be. No problem. First of all, let me take a little bit of tissue. So this was is what I'm talking about, guys. You can see the ink accumulating on this metallic part. And if you don't clean it thoroughly and you leave it for several years in a drawer, you will have problems with that part. This is what I guarantee. So I'm sorry about this, guys. Let me see if I can write with it like this. Well, this should be interesting. So it is a cross, and yes, it writes. This is a cross century two precious metals ten carat rolled gold it is made in Ireland I bought it recently it cost me around 213 lays including the ship point or 47 euros or approximately 51 American dollars I must tell you the first glance is very very smooth so first of all the ink is a Mont Blanc Royal Blue let me show you first of all let's give it a little zoom now I want to show you the line variation so this isn't a flexible nib no flex now let me show you the pressure fit so no line variance okay let me see if i can do signatures yes quite nice it has a good inflow and uh, it's uh, smooth on the paper okay guys now let me try to write it in reverse mode so reverse writing And if we have here initially an M, M from medium nib, in reverse writing we have an F nib. Okay. 
slowly was writing and I've needed definitely a possibility. Now I am ready to tell you about. Let me give you a little zoom. So the quick brown fox jumps over the the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog so this was my review guys of a wonderful and elegant piece i'm quite proud to have it in my collection if you've enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel i'm uh, pleased with uh, the performance of this fountain pen i was expecting a more stiff nib but uh, it performed quite quite well guys i want to wish you to have a nice day wherever you are i thank you for your time till uh, i see you again at the next episode i wish you to have a wonderful day bye bye friends and take care of yourselves